if x equals to cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta, then what is cos theta divided by 1 plus sin theta? Now look at the options. All the options are in terms of x. x minus 1, 1 by x, 1 by x plus 1, uh, and 1 by 1 minus x. What do you do? Do not try to use formulae. Like we have been discussing, substitute some value of theta there. Right? The given equation is x equals to cos theta by 1 minus sin theta. Now assume some value of theta here and find out what is the value of x with respect to that theta. So can we take theta as 90? No, you cannot take theta as 90. What happens if you take theta as 90 here? Sine 90 is 1. Look at the denominator. Denominator is 1 minus sine 90. So if you take theta as 90, this becomes 1 minus 1, 0. Right? And cos 90 is 1. 1 by 0. 1 by 0 is undefined, which means x will be undefined if you take theta as 90. Hence, avoid taking theta as 90. Can you take theta as 0? Yes. Nothing wrong in taking theta as 0 because cos 0 uh, will be 1. I think in the previous case when it took 90, I said cos 90 was 1. Sorry, cos 90 will be 0. But anyway, 0 by 0 is undefined. So you cannot take it as 90. You cannot take theta as 90. Can we take theta as 0? Yes, we can take theta as 0 because cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. So let us substitute. Nothing wrong there, right? So theta equals to 0 degrees implies x will be what? Cos 0 degrees divided by 1 minus sin 0 degrees. Cos 0 is 1 divided by 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Which means for theta 0 degrees, x will be equal to 1. What is he asking us to find out? Cos theta divided by 1 plus sin theta. You have to substitute the same theta here. So this will be equal to what? Substitute same theta. Theta equals to 0. So cos 0 degrees divided by 1 plus sin 0 degrees. This will be what? 1 by 1 plus 0, which is 1. Which means this is equal to what? This is actually equal to 1. Now we'll have to find out which option satisfies that. Now look at that. Options are all given in terms of x. What is the value of x? We have already calculated. We have calculated that x is equal to 1. Remember, x is equal to 1. So substitute x equals to 1 in all the options and check which option gives you 1. If I substitute x equals to 1, this becomes 1 minus 1, 0. Hence cannot be the answer because we want it to be 1. If I substitute x as 1, 1 by 1, Yes, this is one. So this is possible. See, we cannot mark this as the answer. We have to check the remaining options as well. Sometimes two options may satisfy. In that case, we'll have to go for some other substitution, right? So this looks to be a probable answer. Look at third option. If you substitute x equals to one here, so what happens? This becomes one by one plus one, one by two, but we need one. Hence, third option is also wrong. Fourth option, if you substitute x equals to one, this becomes one by zero, undefined. Fourth option is also wrong. Hence, we can now conclude that option two is the correct answer. So cos theta divided by 1 plus sin theta should be 1 by x, right? So just substitute some value of theta. Remember, theta should be taken in such a way that the solution should be defined. The numerical value should be defined, right? You cannot go for undefined solutions. Like when you take theta as 90, it goes undefined, right? If you take theta as 90, x will become uh, 0 by 0, which is not defined. You can follow conventional method also. If you're not very comfortable, you can follow some conventional method. Maybe multiply uh, something on both the sides for the given equation. X equals to cos theta by 1 minus sin theta. Do some calculation here and you'll be able to find it. Okay. If sin pi x by 2 equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2, then the value of x is. What does he say? Sin pi x by 2 equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2. I'm sure I need not tell you how to solve this one. He's asking us to find out the value of x. One equation is given in terms of x, right? This one equation given in terms of x. Sine pi x by 2 equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2. Directly substitute the options here and check which one satisfies. Are you able to follow? Substitute the options one after the other. Let us substitute option 1. What happens? According to option 1, x is equal to 0. Substitute. So with respect to option 1, what do we get? Sine sine 0, right? x is equal to 0. pi into pi by 2 into 0 equals to 0 squared minus 2 into 0 plus 2. So what do we get? See, overall this is sine 0. Sine 0 is 0. 0 equals to 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 equals to 2. Is it correct? No. 0 is not equal to 2. Hence, option 1 is wrong. Try with option 2. Substitute x equals to 1. The sine of pi by 2 into 1 equals to 1 squared minus 2 into 1 plus 2. Does it satisfy? See, sine pi by 2 is sine 90. Sine 90 is equal to 1. 1 is equal to, look at this, minus 2 and plus 2 gets cancelled. We are left with 1 square, which is 1. Correct or not? Yes. So we can put option 2 is a Very simple. Just substitute from the options. 
So in some cases where there is only one equation in one unknown, like in this case, this is the given equation. And what is the unknown value? X is the unknown value. And that is what is asking us to find out. So why do we take pain of simplifying that equation? Substitute the options back one after the other and check it. So we are not substituting any random values also. We are not worried about what should be the value of X. Just substitute the options and check. The value of sine 43 degrees divided by cos 47 degrees plus cos 90 degrees divided by sine 71 degrees minus 8 cos square 68 is options are 0 1 2 minus 1 this again is a pretty straightforward right you don't have to worry about what should be substituted everything is given you just have to put the values known to you and simplify so cos 19 degrees sine 71 degrees minus 8 cos squared 60 Right? You have to find out what the result here would be. Now, you know that sine 43 or for that matter cos 47 or cos 19, sine 71 degrees, we are not expected to know these values by heart. So it is obvious that some conversion here can be done to simplify this. Like for example, cos 47, cos 47 can be taken as sine 43. Yes or no? I am not writing all the steps this time. Cos 47 is cos of 90 minus 43. Cos of 90 minus theta is sine theta. So sine 43. Similarly, sine 71. Sine 71 can be taken as cos 19. Yes or no? Sine 71 is sine of 90 minus 19. Sine of 9090 minus 1919. So sine of 90 minus 19 will be cos 19. So now if you look at it, the first term becomes what? Sine 43 by sine 43. Second term is cos 19 by cos 19. Minus the third term is 8 cos square theta. Cos square 60 degrees. Substitute. So sine 43 by sine 43 will give you 1. This cos 19 and cos 19 gets cancelled, we get 1. Minus 8 of cos square 60 what is cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 cos square 60 will be 1 by 4 so 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is how much 0 so your answer for this question would be option 1 right